think subconsciously that the team maybe felt they had an advantage at home or not? I mean, I think we felt we had an advantage playing at home. But I don't think we leaned on it. I don't think we came out and thought it was just going to happen. They just they just played a better game than we did. Mm-hmm. Are you surprised the way the game went? Uh, kind of. I mean, I didn't expect us to not be able to make a shot. Uh, you know, we had struggled shooting the ball for, for the last few weeks of the season. Then the last game, we shot the ball pretty well. So I figured that was like the turning point for us. And, you know, we'll be able to start the playoffs on the right foot, you know, as far as our, our execution and, and making shots. And we didn't. So... Um, like I said, they played a better game. I thought they executed their defensive game plan better than we executed our offense, and uh, I think that's what led to them winning the game. How do you feel going into the next game? I feel confident. I think we um, we didn't play very well, and you know to be able to come back and lose that game by two points, um, especially with them playing as well as they did, um, you know we feel good about what we can do tomorrow. That's a good goal yesterday, but now with a couple days to reflect on it, just involving Yusuf more, have you thought about ways that maybe you can make that happen, get him going? I mean, I thought he was involved. Uh, you know, I think it was a lot of times where his guy was the one trapping me, and I was hitting him in the middle, and he was making that pass to the weak side, you know, a lot. And obviously that's the right basketball play sometimes, but it was a guard pulling over. That was the help man, so it's kind of his decision to – attack the rim and go score or to make that pass. And, you know, I think uh, once he looked at the film, he'll see, like, you know, I probably could have had a few more opportunities doing that, but um, it's tough. You know, we could probably give him the ball a few more times in the post, too. Almost he needs to be a little more selfish. Yeah. yeah. Do you talk to him about that over the course of the game, or do you have that conversation in the last couple days, or how do you handle that? I mean, I've said it to him uh, since the game was over, but it didn't do us no good. Um, during the game, I'm always saying stuff to him, so I try to stay out of his ear too much. Um, but, I mean, I mentioned it to him, so, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll make that, that read a little bit better next game. I know you played off the ball some a little bit in game one. Is, is doing more of that, is that maybe a way to attack their, their pressure, combat some of that? I think that's the way to go. Um, obviously, when you had a ball at the top, it's 10 eyes on you, and it's, it's easy for them to lock in and not lose track of you instead of being behind the defense and coming off pin downs and flares and stuff like that. So um, we'll we'll look at that in the next game. What else can you guys do to kind of neutralize some of that that pressure that they send your way? Um, I think we can help ourselves by stringing more stops together in a row. You know, every game we go into, we talk about how many times we got three stops in a row. And, you know, we had a lot of success in transition. So I think we get more stops in a row, it's more transition opportunities. Um, and a lot of teams have had success against them with that. So I think that's something that we need to pay close attention to. People talk about playoffs being a different animal. What do you think about Zach going into that environment? How he I thought he did well. Um, a big part of that is not gassing the playoffs up to be something other than a basketball game. You know, obviously it's a little more physical. Um, a little bit more on the line. You lose, you go home type thing. But, you know, it's a basketball game, so... Um, I don't think anybody around here was, you know, making it seem like it was anything more than that. So he went out there and I thought he did well. How much do you enjoy the playoffs more than regular season? I love it. Everything is on the line. You know, it's uh, a select few teams that have an opportunity to, to make a run for a championship. You know, and it's, a, it's an honor to be a part of that. You love the pressure, don't you? I love it. I love it. Every game is like a... Some change. It's like the end of the world when you lose and you win. It's the end of the world for the other team. So we just got to stay with it.